Hi, sweetie pie. I'm going to read you one more poem before I get up and do some more work. Okay. This one is called Winter's Bees, and it's from the book by the same name that we just read another two poems from. Winter's Bees. This is a picture of a fox. The way they, they hear a, a small animal under the snow, and they jump up and dive into the snow and get it. But this is the cover, Winter's Bees and other poems of the cold. And then this is the picture that goes with the poem. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. Now we have bees. Okay, there's another fox. Oh, lots of fox pictures. And ours are in a hive which is a box that we provide, but it's very much like this on the inside. Very much. Now let's read what it says. Winter bees. We are an ancient tribe, a hardy scrum, born with eyelash eyes and tinsel wings. We are nothing on our own. Together we are one. We scaled a million blooms to reap the summer's glow. Now, in the merciless cold, we share each morsel of heat and honeyed crumb. We cram to a sizzling ball to warm our queen, our heart, our home. Alone, we would falter and drop the dot on the canvas of snow. Together, we boil, we teem, we hum. Deep in the winter hive, we burn like a golden sun. Okay, now that's winter bees. Let me read what they say about it in the, the sort of description part and where we learn something about them, and then we'll go back to the poem. Honeybees hang together at all times, but especially in winter. They are one of the few insects in the northern hemisphere that remain active in freezing weather, and they do it in typical bee fashion by gathering sharing, and communicating. Three words. Remember we were talking in the last one that sometimes we use words that go together, that they, they're sort of often coupled and paired or whatever together. But other times the three words are each different and they're conveying a whole picture in the three words. Gathering, sharing, and communicating. That's what bees do. And it's fascinating and unusual to, to the extent to which they do that and it's studied a lot i think there must be more people studying bees than almost anything well that's a too broad a statement but all summer they collect nectar which they transform into honey in wax covered cells as the air turns colder bees begin to cluster around their queen who represents the future of the hive without her the hive can't continue she lays She's the only one that lays the eggs. Without the eggs, they don't have more bees. Without more bees, they don't have the warmth that all of the bees provide by being a, a big mass of those bodies around the central point. And also, it, it takes the flight, many flights of many bees to make enough honey to survive the winter. All summer, they I read that, sorry. <laughs> Um, the colder it gets, the tighter they huddle, shrinking to a football-sized mass that slowly eats its way through the carefully stored honey. Hungry hive mates, farther from the honeycomb, will beg for food, which is then passed from bee to bee. I didn't know that. I've wondered about that. What about the ones that are too far out and it's too cold or too densely packed to get to it? They share. They pass it along. That's cool. When hive temperatures drop to dangerous levels, the outer rim bees sound the alarm and the cluster begins to shiver, flex their flight muscles to generate heat. While worker bees cycle in and out of the cluster's warm center, the queen remains at its heart, ready to resume her egg laying at the first sign of spring. Now I'm reading this on February 5th. And last week, the last 10 days or so, 
we had kind of warmish weather around 60 and we had very cold weather warming so it's a little bit of that um and one of the beekeepers who posted online that he went into his hive on a warm day and saw eggs already which is very unusual well i don't know if it's unusual but it's noteworthy because it was january and yet because it was just you know 15 months away from spring that she had started laying so i'm not sure when they start laying around here if they um, had started because it was warm weather or or what but it is fascinating that inside i mean it's very cold out but inside that hive they're warm enough able to keep the queen warm enough to lay eggs and that the eggs don't die i'm going to read it again winter bees we are an ancient tribe a hardy scrum born with eyelash legs and tinsel wings. We are nothing on our own. Together we are one. We scaled a million blooms to reap the summer's glow. Now in the merciless cold, we share each morsel of heat and honey to plumb. We clam to a sizzling ball to warm our queen, our heart, our home. Alone we would falter and drop a dot on the canvas of snow. Together we boil, we teem, we hum. Deep in the winter hive, we burn like a golden sun. Here's the picture again. I love you, sweetie pie. I'll see you soon.